Hey everyone, I'm going to show you what I've been doing the last um, five years for making my family photo albums and just show you what works great for me and what's really quick and what I really, really love. So um, the first album I made was my um, wedding album and I have been doing these all digitally on my computer. So I used to do the ones, the traditional scrapbooks where you put your pictures in the album and you have to write on the pages, you have to glue paper down, you have to put stickers and all that, but I just don't have time for that having kids, so I went to digital. Um, what you do is you upload your pictures onto your computer and then you put it into a program called Storybook Creator and you um, put the pictures on the page and there's embellishments you can choose, you can choose different um, layouts, you can choose, um, you can change your font, you can do all kinds of things. You can get really creative in there. Um, so it's just like scrapbooking but on your computer, which for me it's way easier and quicker and I really, really love it. So the first one I did is my wedding album and this is when my husband and I got married five years ago. And so all I did was I chose a background and then I um, added my pictures in here. I did some journaling. Um, I kept it really, really simple. And so I really, really love um, how quick and how fast it was for me. And so I, after I did my wedding album, I also did my first family album that year, which is when my husband and I got married. So I did our honeymoon. I did um, just our trips that we did that year. Also, after we got married, within four months after we got married, I got pregnant with our oldest daughter. And so it has pictures of our ultrasound, my stomach, and so it was just a fun way to record my pregnancy with my girls and um, our wedding and everything we did the first year of our marriage. So every year I do a photo album like this for my family. And I will do one separately for my girls and then one separately for me and for our family. So I love how easy and quick and um, I can do our family album and then I resave it and then I do it all over um, to do an album for each of my girls for every year. And so um, I did, this is our last, this is our 2010 album. So it's pretty thick as you can tell because I do over 100 pages a year because obviously we take a lot of pictures in our house. So this is family vacations and um, more just fun things that we did over the summer like birthdays, um, different going to the zoo, everything like that. Everything that we take pictures for that year I will put in our storybook and do journaling. I don't do every single picture but um, the ones that are important and I share a little story about that whatever for my girls albums I will um, do an album for them that year and I'll do like what they started to do this month that was special or right now my daughter Nora is um, turning over from her belly to her stomach and her stomach to um, her back and um, she's sitting up really well so I'll say that or I'll say like the date when she um, started eating solids or whatever and I'll journal about it in her album so that way when she's older she has all that information and when she gets married and has kids she'll be able to show her kids like this is when I um, started crawling or whatever um, and so I just really think it's important to have albums for your kids and your family it records so many important events that you guys share together it makes kids feel like they're loved and valued my four-year-old daughter will sit on the floor every day and just look at her albums she'll look at she'll take out these albums I keep them in our family room and she'll just page through them she loves looking at them and I know that um, they make her feel good and she sees all the things that mommy and daddy have done with her that year and she knows that she's valued so I really think albums are very important for kids and families to have and um, last year Creative Memories came out with the leather um, bound cover and um, the pages now are a lot thicker and they lay flat so I don't know if you can tell the difference from when I was turning the pages from the other books but now I can turn the pages and they're not, uh, they're a lot more thicker. They kind of feel like, I guess like kind of a cardboard type material, but they're not. It's just very thick pages and they lay flat and um, they're very durable. This album I've had over five years and it's been very durable. 
but they, they now have came out with the leather bound and um, really thick pages and so I've been loving 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 these so I'm so excited to start my um, album for this year I'm really behind but um, this is 2011 to through 2012 pictures for the year I also think they are a lot cheaper um, I feel like after you print out your pictures you buy the albums you buy the papers you buy the stickers you buy all the supplies to make your album I feel like they're a lot more expensive and so for me on a family on a budget and also um, with a limited time I feel like this is a lot better for me and a lot easier for me and so I have been doing storybooks and for the last five years and I absolutely love them so yeah that's kind of my review on the storybooks from creative memories and I very much recommend doing them and loving them if you have a family and you don't have a ton of time to spend on albums and you don't have and you're not creative at all I would definitely recommend doing these I'm not creative at all as you can tell I hardly used any embellishment or backgrounds in some of these because I don't really have time to do all that and plus I'm not creative I'm like the least creative you'll ever meet like I can I can't even draw a stick figure so for me to just throw my pictures in here and do some journaling it's really easy so I do that and I have been loving it the last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is a giveaway so I have two of these albums here they are by Nancy O'Dell. They're the Hummingbird series. They are 11 by 14 photo albums. They look like this inside. Um, basically, they're the drop-in picture ones. So all you do is you drop the picture into the sleeve. You just slide the picture in. You can do a journaling on a little piece of paper and slide it in there as well. And I have two of these. They are on a limited edition, so they are no longer being sold by Creative Memories anymore but um, you have a chance to win these. So I will have two winners and all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and then leave a video comment down below um, just saying what your favorite uh, scrapbooking product is, any kind of, even if it's a digital product, whatever. Just leave it down below and then also give a thumbs up to this video and um, yeah, that's all you have to do. The winner will be announced June 30th. I will post a video um, telling you the winner either at the beginning or the end of the video on June 30th. And I will have two winners. And you can be international or wherever. It doesn't matter. And um, if you're under the age of 18, you need to get your parents' permission because I will be needing your address to mail you the, one of these. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, um, leave them down below. I'll answer any questions and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.